So hello everyone. Today we will be presenting a final project for the advanced computing concepts, which is the web search engine. This project implements the concepts of theoretical and practical, which we learned during the lectures taught by Dr. Al Khati. So uh, these are the team members which contributed to our project. Uh, Fainil Kanevia, uh, Jiga Mehta, Pal Dhanani, Mohammad Asad Naim and Mary Alhaman. So these will be the points uh, covered during the presentation. That is introduction, advantages of search engine, roles of each member, features, workflow of the engine and the implementation of engine. Starting from the introduction. So uh, here we are presenting a web search engine whose aim is to return a high quality information to the user's query. Uh, by implementing the algorithm, which generates a list of websites with relevant content uh, on the top. So the examples of web search engine are Google, Yahoo, and DuckDuckGo are some of them. The advantages of using a web search engine are First of all, you don't need any special things for running it. Like you just need smart devices like mobile phone, uh, laptop, PC, or any Google Assistant or smartwatch, and you need internet. So how is web search engine better than the traditional way of searching? First of all, it helps the user to save their time in unnecessary searching of the documents. Like it only provides what they want what the user want to see uh, and it provides relevant content uh, and it ignores the uh, irrelevant and unnecessary documents and it helps in advanced search like for example if a user wants to search only for pdf or presentation then he could just write like pdf and colon then he, he will only be shown the pdfs so another thing is like the web search engine shows each and every information in an organized way, which makes uh, easy for the user to search and scroll the content easily. These are the roles of individual. Uh, the web crawler and HTML to text feature is done by Fanel. Pattern matching is done by myself. Uh, page sorting is done by Path. Spell checker is done by Mary and frequency count and dictionary are done by Muhammad Asad. Now my friend Fanel will explain you further. These are the feature we have implemented. Uh, so we are going to explain this feature one by one. So the first feature is a web crawler. So uh, the main functionality of the search engine depends on the data. And it, it is a job of a web crawler to collect to, uh, that data. So what it does basically, it, it visit each and every uh, site and collects it and store it on the disk for further processing. Now, uh, the, uh, a little bit more about how it is doing it. So HTML page does not only have the content, it also has the link of other web pages, which is called hyperlink. So first, when uh, whenever it is uh, the web crawler is going to any page, it is first it is going to store all of the HTML using a JSUP library, and after storing that, it is going to parse that uh, HTML file for searching for any hyperlinks. And whenever it find any hyperlink, it is going to store uh, that hyperlink for the further processing. Now, until each and every hyperlink is processed, it is going to perform this. Uh, task until the, like, everything is completed. Now, uh, uh, like what data structure we are using or a web crawler is using to process that information. So first is the hash set. It is, it is, it is going to be used to store already visited web page. So we, we, we won't visit it again. So we are using hash set just because like every time we visit a new site, we can query a already visited site in order of one time complexity which is a constant time and also we do not have to worry about a duplicate links because it has as set and another data structure we are using it's a queue which is implemented by the array list so uh, what we are uh, what, what the web crawl will do is it it will first uh, visit the current page and uh, uh, and it will 
parse it and put all of the hyperlinks on the queue and whenever it, it completes the current page it is going to take a uh, one url from the queue so it's basically a breadth first uh, searching uh, similar to a bad press searching so it will first visit all of the current page and then it is going to visit uh, all of the nested hyperlinks uh, next slide please uh, now, uh, after completing the crawler part, it is going to store as a, uh, it, the file will be going to store as HTML. So with uh, the uh, search engine do not need unnecessary information that HTML has, for example, a, a CSS file or a JavaScript file or any other text. So what this uh, this step will do is first it will read all of the stored HTML file and then process it and clean it using a GSUP library. And then it is going to store that clean uh, uh, text file into the another folder so we can read from that folder and we can apply further processing for the search engine uh, now uh, jigger will explain uh, further now starting with the pattern searching feature uh, pattern searching feature is one of the most important feature of search engine it helps the search engine to scan the all documents and search for the keyword with the user enters like the keyword or queries which user enters. So the pattern uh, searching uses the Boyer Moore algorithm. Uh, first of all, we tried uh, uh, brute force algorithm, but it had unnecessary operations. So we then tried Boyer Moore algorithm, uh, which is the most accurate string matching algorithm. Uh, Boyer Moore does uh, character by character comparison of the keyword and the string so uh, algorithm has two approaches that is uh, bad character heuristic and good suffix heuristic and it starts um, comparing the characters from right to left so as you can see in the flow chart uh, first of all the user inputs a pattern then the pattern is split into two halves then after that the algorithm uses the rightmost character from the pattern from the end of the pattern like we have divided in p1 and p2 so it uses the last character of p2 to start comparing the text so if the character is uh, equal then it would be, be comparing the other characters of p2 with the text and if it the pattern matches then it will do same with pattern 1 and if the pattern does not match, then it will shift one character towards the left. So after both P1 and P2 are matched to the string, then only the search completes. Otherwise, it will go on till the text ends. So now my friend Asad will continue further. Uh, I have implemented two features in this project. Uh, so the first one being the dictionary. Um, that is generated by pre-processing all the text files and as a result it creates a dictionary.txt file uh, containing all unrepeated words so you must be wondering how we implemented dictionary so the idea of hash set is used to construct the dictionary that results in a list of unique words using array list method in java um, the dictionary feature is uh, further utilized to implement spell check and suggestion in our project. Um, moving on, I have implemented a frequency count feature. Uh, next slide, please. That can also be implemented. Uh, that can also be indicated as an alternate to the pattern searching that my team member Jigger just explained a while ago. Uh, frequency count actually refers to the number of times a user has inputted a word which has been found in the text files that were earlier created from the web pages. So to search this inputted sequence, I have used regular expression pattern matching technique that refers to using Java to match a user's entered keyword against a text file. So regex.matcher method has been used uh, to spot several reiterations of a particular expression. And moreover, a uh, matcher is used uh, to look for the same um, target sequence in all of the text files uh, which were created. Uh, now, uh, Mary will further continue. Hello, Professor. 
Hello everyone. I'm going to talk about the spelling checker. Spelling checker is used when we can't find any matches for the input. So it will use the dictionary just text and finding the closest matches by editing distance to find the closest matches. So user will give such as a weird input like the example below. The computer word it is in wrong spelling. So the code will use a suggestion part and it will measure edit dis distance between user input and the dictionary word. So two closest words will be showing in the suggestion part. And that's explain what the spelling checker benefit. Thanks. Next, please. Hello, Professor. Let me explain my part, which is page ranking. So page ranking is all about finding the value or importance of a web page. Uh, page ranking can be implemented in many different ways. Uh, different uh, search engines like Bing and Google uses their own page ranking techniques. Uh, that's why we get different results uh, when we search same query in the search engines. In our project, we rank the pages based on the number of occurrences, uh, number of occurrences of input in, in pages. Uh, later on, the pages will be dis will be displayed according to the rank. That means high ranking pages will be displayed before low ranking pages. So this is the workflow of our project. Uh, so our project is divided into two main parts. First one is uh, pre-processing and the second one is actual search. Now let me give you a demo of our project. Mm, uh, now we will download uh, uh, web pages uh, using this web crawler. Uh, so the, this web crawler will download uh, different web pages from this geek for geek sites. Okay, let me run it. So it will download the web pages in this folder. So these are the files that are being currently being downloaded. I think uh, th these many files are in for now. Okay, uh, so let me check. So we have downloaded one 117 files till now. Now let me convert this uh, this web pages into text file using HTML to text converter. It will use this JSUB library. So and. Uh, it will store these uh, text files in this clean file folder. So right now it is empty. Now let me just run it. So 117 uh, text files is created for 170 web pages. Now now we will use a dictionary. We will create a dictionary from this text files. It will be created in this folder. So dictionary. So this dictionary will contain all unique words that are found in all those web web pages or in all those text files. So the dictionary is created. Okay, now we'll use actual. We'll try actual search using this search engine. It will uh, it will use different uh, methods like uh, pattern matching and suggestions. Okay, now let me run it. So we have found 42 matches for this uh, development world and it also shows the time taken for searches. Uh, so now let me try other, other word. So this is the website for geek for geeks Then let me try geek. 
So we have found total 913 matches and the time taken is 0.231 seconds. So 100 and all 170 pages contain this, uh, uh, this geek word. Okay, now, uh, now let me try some different word with uh, spelling error. So uh, let's search green, green. So it will suggest green or Greek instead of this green with triple E. So let me just uh, try again. computer so so uh, these are the different words the words that is suggested so that was all for the demo part uh, and now uh, we refer these sites for our project uh, and making these slides oh uh, thank you